Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to our Pyanodons playthrough. So in this episode, we are hopefully going to be working at getting Arcads. Uh, in our last episode, we got, what are these called again? Ulrichs up and running. Um, with Ulrich food flowing in, and so they'll slowly be replicating. I got a second one started, but we'll be checking in on them from time to time while we get Arcads set up. A uh, couple comments from my wonderful YouTube viewers that I wanted to address. Um, first off, a comment from Nitra, who mentioned that we can... He reminded me that we can make sand, referring to the sand we got um, for our guar bean seeds. We can just wash sand. We don't have to uh, do a solid separation. But I actually, there's a little bit of an interesting trade-off there. I plugged in the two different options. So let's say you wanted five sand from soil using the washing method. You would need a little over four soil extractors to two washers. And that would also require about 925 water. And then a total of about two megawatts. You would get 50 tailings, which could more than pay for the two megawatts if you turn tailings into power. But I found it kind of interesting that this build alone requires so much power and water. If you go with the route that I kind of accidentally chose, I didn't really choose on purpose, but I just picked this one, then you actually need a lot less soil, which means a lot less water, and you don't need water for this process in the first place. So the power draw is, you know, what is that, about 1300 rather than, you know, two megawatts, and the total number of buildings you need is a little smaller as well. Um, so all that, and you get biomass for whatever that's worth, so I think tailings and biomass are both useful byproducts. And as I look at this, I'm actually realizing that you could make a power build that t create, uses this to make biomass and uses this to make tailings, and then you turn the tailings into coal water slurry, and you can turn that into combustion mixture. So you could actually just make power from soil. I don't know how efficient it would be, but you could do it. Another thing he mentioned in another one of his comments is that uh, we could potentially use Ulrichs and Ulrich food to make manure instead of Aubs. In our, the whole reason we even got onto this alien life train is because we were needing to make manure for ammonia. And I've definitely decided fish are not a good route to go. And here I was looking into some of the different options for manure. Um, the current plan had been to make algs do our manure. So we need 6.67. And for that, with the bedding recipe, which we don't have yet, so I probably shouldn't be comparing this recipe, um, we would need 16 alg paddocks and then 0.67 food. If I did Ulrichs, with the current food recipe I have, we would actually need 44 Ulrich corrals. But I wonder if there's an Ulrich recipe that we just haven't unlocked yet that would use bedding, I assume. Yeah, manure three. That would be the equivalent to what I have plugged in over there, I think. Three, four would also add in fiber. I don't know if that's worth it or not. But this would be the equivalent recipe, and that would only require about 16 corrals. 1.22 bedding, 0.61 food, 2.43 salt. So about the same amount of everything. Um, I guess the question is, what's easier to make? Ulrich food or um, Aug food because they're kind of about the same. Huh. That's interesting. I'm honestly not sure. I guess this one requires plastic and starch, whereas this one doesn't. So I'd say maybe the Ulrichs are a little bit easier to go with. So I might actually make manure with Ulrichs. But I also believe that Mukmu if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I thought they might be the best way to make manure, but as I plugged in um, this recipe, it felt like that was a higher amount 
of corrals or pastures, whatever they're called. So let's check one more time. So Mukmu. So there's one that uses fiber that we haven't unlocked. Oh, that's four. Uh, what about bedding? See, Mukmu never require bedding in the first place. So maybe that's why this is a an attractive recipe. Is because they just don't require bedding. Um, I don't know why it defaults to tier four for that factory. So using fiber is significantly more efficient there. We go to 15.82 versus 26.15. But how difficult is it to make this much fiber from Kikalk? We would need eight wood processing units and let's just assume Let's see, do I get any other kick-out recipes? Kick-out. I don't. Until pie science, I can't even add in manure if I wanted to and biomass to make more. So, the best recipe we've got right now, I definitely don't want to use lamps, so it'd be this one. Uh, let's see, we would need... 40, yeah, I don't think that's worth it. It would be easier to just have more pastures. So it's stuff like this that gets a little tricky with pyanodons. And who knows, once we have beacons, maybe this will change significantly again. Although actually beacons are not going to affect the alien life stuff too much because there's already modules in there. And so the speed for a lot of these buildings is already like plus, you know, 2000%. So speed module is going to do literally nothing. Um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So, anyway, we'll keep checking into all that stuff as we go, but we've got a few more Ulrichs here that we can put into our buildings. I'm going to put one into each so that they can all be running. And then over time, we'll build up enough. And I need a few more barrels to make sure I have enough water barrels in circulation. But other than that, we're going to get started on Arcads. So, first thing I need is an Arcad, or what's it called? Is it an Apiary, I think? Yeah, Apiary Hydrocarbon Plant. So we'll make a few of these. They are of medium size. And I'll just put the first one over here. This is going to be just to make a pile of them. And we want... Natural gas, biomass, and Relesius. Oh. Oh, it's the honeycombs that are difficult to make. First off, that's right. I forget how I'm going to do that, but we can at least start on these guys. Um, given that it needs natural gas, I'm going to move it over here. It's kind of weird that it requires barreled natural gas rather than just natural gas as a liquid, but I guess you it into some sort of dispenser so we're gonna need a automated factory here to barrel up the natural gas so natural gas barrel and then we will pipe into that bad boy quester chest or some barrels empty barrel Hundred. We actually need some more robo ports out here. Make sure we've got plenty for charging purposes. Okay, so they'll bring out some barrels, and then we need some biomass and Relasius, which I can go grab. We'll also just request some biomass. We'll request some stacks. Put those in an unstacker, and there we go. And now, where am I going to find flowers? Well, we've got a bunch right here ready to go for green science. So, I will just stand here and gobble up a few. I wonder how what they stack to. A few hundred? Oh, they might even stack to 500. 300. Okay. We will take two stacks worth. 
perfect. Okay. And then I'll load those in. Put those in a chest. Load natural gas barrels in. I will unload into a chest here. At some point, we'll stop um, requesting barrels and we'll just have a loop. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. I've done this a thousand times before. Here I was thinking, oh, we don't actually need one to start one. That's different than the rest. Right, we do need one or the building won't run. Okay. So back to the drawing board on Arcads. Um, we need a codex BDNA, which is from five codexes. So I need six codexes. Arcad five, six. It's a lot of handcrafting. I also have reached my breaking point in terms of crafting steel chests. So we are going to put just a steel chest crafter right here. I'll request and provide steel chest. And then I'll put that in my logistics. Because you also have to craft a steel chest to make all of these requester and provider chests, so it just kind of makes my life a lot tougher. I was thinking about automating the providers and requesters too. I might as well while I'm here. So this will request steel chests and circuits. And we'll make requester and providers. Put those into providers. One stack each. I did that wrong. There we go. Probably up this request like 300. And I think that should do it. And then I'll just put those in my logistics request. Because I'm really tired of running out of those and having to handcraft them. Should have done that a long time ago. Okay, so now we need to go get our BDNA started. BDNA sample. And then I'm even going to put a requester chest here for red science. Which it looks like we're not actually putting in the logistic system. This should just be a provider chest. And I'm going to keep doing researches just because I can. Domestication. What is that? Caravan. A creature built and bred to carry heavy loads between locations. So I believe that actually makes it into a vehicle. And our power generators. So you can actually make power from AUX too. Cotton guts are like little weird rabbit mice things that we're going to have to breed as well. There's so much to pie science that I just don't get. And there's, there's so many things. It's crazy. Um, what am I doing? I am starting the BDNA. So we're waiting on some robots to bring us some red science here. Laboratory instruments need to be requested as well as basic substrate. Looks like those are not provided. 
for the cDNA. Also, I need to fuel these stone brick dudes. I don't actually know if I have all that set up correctly, but let's just grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just use coal dust. Power all those guys. And then basic substrate needs to be provided. Just one stack should be plenty. It was basic substrate and laboratory instruments which are over here. Oh, we've got a rubber issue. Interesting. Okay, what's wrong with rubber? We've got polybutadiene, air, and oil. We've got transport belts. We've got steam. We've got tar. Creamy latex for my cat. Okay, what's... So latex is the problem. We're out of sodium alginate. It's supposed to be coming in from here. Sodium alginate needs stone, which is supposed to be coming up from here. Aha. So stone seems to be the issue. Oh, all the extra output from iron and copper and everything kind of dried up. Interesting. But how much stone do I have in the network? I have 5.9 thousand. So what I can do, just to make this a little easier, is request stacked stone. And just put that on the belt. And it is supposed to be stacks, right? Yeah. I still need to improve my rubber. Improved rubber is on the list of things to do. Um, but we're not going to be doing that in this episode. So, we'll uh, speed that up a little bit. Because that'll probably take a minute. But that should get us our... Sodium alginate, there we go, which will get us rubber. So back to arcades, uh, I'm trying to remember, I do need the, uh, what's it called, the comb. I need to make some of that, so I can start working on that. And it needs creosote, which, I do have over in this region. So I think I'll just make it right here. Empty home. And I'll just put a requester chest. Do I not have ash? I also need tailings dust. That's interesting. We don't have any of that yet. We'll need to build an evaporator. But I truly don't have ash in requester chests, because this is not a requester. So we need a hyper-fast inserter to put ash into this. Only if ash is less than 10,000. That needs to be a filter inserter. Filtering on ash. Yeah, who knows what was requesting ash because we didn't have any of that either. All kinds of issues in my factory that pop up from time to time. Okay, so now all the rubber we're making is going to have to go towards belts for a second, which is going to be obnoxious. 
Um, so I'm actually gonna stop that for just a minute. Or I'll just feed it half of my rubber. Well, no, that's not good, because then my the robots are going to take the rubber to me first, so that actually does not fix my problem. Uh, we'll just have to wait a minute here. Um, yeah, so the rubber recipe we do want to improve, too. It, like, multiplies our rubber output by 10. Okay, so tailings dust is made in an evaporator from, you guessed it, tailings. So, we'll pop one of these over here. And we will make tailings dust. Just enough to... What does it stack to? A thousand? So we'll do like one stack. Yeah, one stack seems fine, because that'll actually use up 25,000 tailings. And then acid gas, I really, I just want to vent it, but to be honest, I should barrel it. Acid gas barrel, because it's pretty useful. And so we'll just set up barreling and we'll just get rid of all the barrels. And then we'll have a couple pipes here and then an overflow. So we'll vent if we ever run out of barrels, and this will stop putting barrels into the system if acid gas barrel is less than, I don't know, what's reasonable, 2,000? So that way, if we have an absurd amount of acid gas, it won't just put acid gas in there forever. But I doubt I need to worry about that. Okay, back to this. This is making laboratory instruments, but gosh, we lost a lot of green science from that. From me not noticing. So I'm gonna let the laboratory instruments build up for just a second. Because we need a few of those for... What did I even need it for? I've gotten so lost in the, in the mix here. Okay, so automation science pack. I'm just going to put a fast inserter there. Oh, it's the cDNA. That's right. Okay. Which we need three of. And then we need bio sample, which I can grab from this chest. We need the bDNA sample, which will come from there. And the codexes, which I have crafted. Where are they? I also don't need a mushroom DNA sample. I don't need a single substrate. Ah, there's the single codex. Okay, so then the B DNA sample. I will have just automatically insert. That seems like a good way to do it. All right, that's going. I just feel like everything's backed up for who knows what reasons at this point. Ulrich food is still being produced. I wonder how the Ulrichs are doing. Let's go check on them. Looks like they're doing pretty well. We've got all the cages we need. We've got almost all the Ulrich food that we've requested, which is backed up. We've got 29 more. Go team. So I will take all these cages, put them back into the system, and take the Oryx, and we can start filling up some Oryx corrals. There we go. Now they'll work a lot faster. Almost one per minute. That's quite fast. Uh, we also still have a bit of a barrel shortage, so we'll grab some more barrels here. We need the barrels to be backed up to about here, ideally.
Almost. Okay, we need a few more. Maybe that'll be enough. Alright. Here's our B. Our first Arcad. Nope, he's not quite done yet. But we are all set up for him to start producing more of himself. Now, what were the other recipes while I'm here? So we get 80% if I have Yadles, which I do not have. So we will not be doing that recipe. And then I got the tailings dust, so we now have empty combs. So I'll just put those into a provider real quick. We stack to 50. 50 seems like enough. So empty comb. What can I do with it? I cannot melt it down. I do have to fill it first. And I will need tall oil. It looks like. Um... Yadles, what even are these things? They only require... Okay, so they're just a mushroom. They might actually be easy to make. Looks like the first one requires a bunch of stuff I already have. And then some wood and Yadles spores, but those just come from spore collectors. So they just sit there and just grab them. We don't have to do anything fancy for that. Um, and then I can make more with other recipes and stuff, but that's easy enough. And then is that even worth it, though? I have no idea. I'll probably just use biomass and tall oil for now. This one and then the filled comb we can empty it's essentially like a barrel of bitumen so bitumen is actually quite nice um, you can turn it into dirty sin gas which can be turned into purified sin gas which then can be turned into hot sin gas which then can be turned into five times that amount of sin gas so that's one kind of route you can take. Problem is it requires filtration media, but that's per 400 dirty sin gas. Uh, what else can you do with bitumen? You can mix it with chromium to make heavy oil, I guess. You can just make nitrogen out of it. So that's nice. You can make oil if you mix it with hydrogen. Probably would never do that because I can just get oil from the ground. Same thing with sulfur. Same thing with tar. I'm probably not going to use it to make asphalt. Oh, we can make nickel ore by mixing it with propane. But why would I... I can just mine nickel ore. I can make shale oil and vanadium pentoxide. You need that for some high-tech stuff. Shale oil can be made a couple different ways. And can make fuel oil. I don't know. Who cares? We're looking into stuff that doesn't matter right now. The main point is we'll get a used comb, which we can then mix with... Or no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, my apologies, lovely viewers. I have made a goof. Crydex did not look closely. So this recipe to melt the used comb down into wax requires pie science. Which means we can't. We can't actually do it. So the used comb has no purpose, which means the filled comb has no purpose, which means this empty comb has no purpose. All that to say, to get honey, and let me uh, check on... We still are going to need the arcades, so let's get them reproducing. Perfect. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of bees or wasps. 
Definitely not mutant alien bee wasps. But, uh, here we are. Um, okay, so the problem is I need honey. That's, that's where this all started, right? And to make honey, you have to have a honeycomb. And to make a honeycomb, you have to start with empty honeycombs, I believe. Let me just double check. I didn't miss something. But no matter what you do, you need empty honeycombs. So I thought to myself, oh, okay, great. Well, to make empty honeycombs, you can make them out of wax and hot air and cast them. But I can't get wax unless I have honeycombs. The only way to make wax is from empty honeycombs or used combs. But I can't melt down used combs without pie science, which I won't have forever. So all that being said, we actually have to do it this way. So I do need these spores, which means I do need to research these things. The good news is Bodo spores come just from a spore collector, so I don't actually have to grow any of them, which is nice because they require fuel rods. Jeez. That's kind of crazy. And those require a good alien samples. So we're not actually going to see the Bodos for a while. But I can get the spores. Oleochemicals. I can make. Um, we're not making Simix. So we are going to need lard and titanium. I think that's really the only way to do it. Or skin and alien bacteria. But we're not at that science level. We're not at that science level. So I need a I need to get some lard. And I think right now the only way we have to get lard is by rendering wow, why is that not? Um Lard doesn't show up for some reason. But I think if we just render out or I guess you have to render the caged version. But that gets lard. Uh, so what's it actually called? It's called fat. Is it always? It's called mukmu dash fat, regardless of what animal it comes from. Is that true? Yeah, that's funny. Um, so Ulrichs, Augs, Mukmus, Cotton Guts, Simix. I mean, pretty much everything gives. Lard, we do have extract. There are so many different researches. Um, extract lard. Will that find me certain things? Uh, not quite. Extract. Um, what do I have? Aug. So if I do this rendering, I can just get lard directly from Augs. So I think I'll do that. Rather than doing the, you just get a little bit of everything option. At some point, I'm curious to check out, like, what's more efficient? Do I do it this way? Or do I do the, the AUG directly to bones, you know, plus the AUG directly to meat, plus the AUG directly to skin, plus lard, plus guts, plus brain, plus blood which one gets me more when I do them all separately or when I just do a full render? I'm not actually sure. That's a good question for the future. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna build a slaughterhouse and do this one because I only need a little bit. So slaughterhouse, I'll build two of them, I guess. Where am I slaughtering these already? I know it's in one of these buildings. No. Uh. Boo, 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 boo. Where is it? I'm slaughtering them all to get bone meal. Oh, it's in here. These are slaughterhouses. Okay, I already walked in here. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is cool. Choose your next victim. <laughs> this is a different recipe selector. This is cool. Um, so my victim will be Augs. Good, sir. 
Or Ulrix. I have plenty of both. Oh, and then I can get Aux to Bone Meal or Full Render. So for now, we'll just do some full rendering. And we'll put all that in a chest. Oh, the blood. Let me deal with the blood. Uh, I'm just going to put high tank to hold all that for now. This is using up the cages, which is a little bit of a problem because I don't really have it set up that way. Oh, no, I do. Okay, we have extra cages being added in. So then what I really need is this to be removing cages. Putting them back into the system. Also, apparently I don't have filter inserters on my logistics request. So let's fix that. That's going to use up a bunch of circuits. Let's see if we have our first B. We do! Yay! Now we have two. Okay. So those guys are going. Let's check on our Ulrichs. It looks like we have plenty. I actually might render the Ulrichs. I don't know what's better to render, but I don't need that many. Um, okay. So we've got a decent number. I guess we might need them later. I'll just put all 80 in there and eventually we'll use them. But Ulrix reproduced pretty fast, it seems like. And we're getting the Bodos spores unlocked, and we need to make honeycombs. What do I even make the honeycomb in? Empty honeycomb is made... Oh, it's made in one of these. Okay. And we need oleochemicals, bolos, spores, and relays, yes. Okay, well, I'll make a couple spore collectors that can get to work eventually, once that research is done. And we need oleochemicals, which are made in a FTS reactor. That requires concrete, which I should probably have in my logistics. Concrete. Sweet. I already have it in the logistics system, so they'll bring me that. I'm sad. I did all this work to get empty combs, and I can't even really use them yet. Okay, so we need FTS reactor. And I'll put this over here. We need some water. I think you can't gas vent steam if I'm am I remembering that correctly? Um lard, we still don't have enough. Did I unlock that recipe yet? No. How far is it? Okay, one more research. I think I'll actually wait, because I think I'm just wasting a bunch of algs. The difference is pretty big. If we do the full render, we get 30% um, lard, which is 0.3. If we actually render to make lard, we get uh, neither of those. I think it's just two. There, yeah. 
So that's three times the amount of lard. Which would imply that the full render is better in terms of total resources. Because of all of these resources, you only get triple the amount by doing straight to that. But it's giving you six different resources. That would be worse. Like, let's see skin. So skin, we get 1.5. That's the average of 1 and 2 times 0.3, which is 0.45 skin. And if we go directly to skin, we get 2. Okay, so that's about quadruple amount of skin. It's too many button clicks. Uh, let's check meat. Meat, augs probably give you a lot of. So that's an average of 3.5 times 0. 0.4. I believe that's 1.4 meat on average. So 1.4 meat. Scroll over. Compared to 8. So that's like five times the amount, five or six times the amount of meat. I don't know. It's definitely, you could do some really complicated circuits to like do the full rendering when you're short on multiple items, but do the specific rendering when you're not short. You could get really fancy with it. Part of me wants to copy paste all of this into a medium factory building just to make it nicer but okay so we need water here we also need titanium so let me request that 95 percent we're almost there do we have any more bees yet we do we have two more sweet so we'll get some more bees going these guys can start Collecting some spores, which they will put into a chest. And now we can start rendering the Alps directly into Lard. Oh, well, this is an easier way to see what my options are. Um, so yeah, bones, 30%, 1 to 4. I don't know. We'll do the math later. I won't bore you guys with the math. And we want to output that. Also, I can probably take it off four times speed. That's a bit crazy. I'll keep it on two, though. Uh, I feel like there was something I was still doing over here. Maybe it was the honeycomb. But that's a failed... Ex not an experiment, just a failure. Straight up failure. Okay, Lord, we need 20. And that will make oleochemicals, which we put into another one of these. Yes, okay, but it has to be barrels, of course. Why does it have to be barrels? Oleochemicals barrel. I mean, I guess it's how they're fed. You know, they it's like nectar. They have really weird tastes for horrific bee wasp things, but it is what it is. Okay, so there's enough lard to get some oleochemicals going. This will do the barreling. And then... We'll make another... Are you serious? That doesn't fit? These things are huge. We'll make another one of these to make honeycombs. And we'll grab barrels. We will grab the spores. I'll grab a few more stacks of yellow flowers. If you look at the preview, there's only a few. I guess I only needed... 
How many was it? 15? 13? That looks like there's uh, 11 and 4. So 15, yeah. So most of them are in that building. Okay, and then we'll feed this with a bunch of flowers. That's enough to make like 500 of the honeycombs, so I'll take that. And hook up our oleochemicals. Okay, and we'll begin producing some honeycombs. The nice thing about honeycombs is I only need, if I'm remembering correctly, I only need a certain amount. Uh, because... Let's see, honeycomb is used to make the same amount of honeycomb that's filled, and then the filled one makes the same amount empty. So, we just need probably a few hundred, and we won't need to produce them constantly. And then I can finally start getting Arcad Honey, which means if I'm interested, I could make some chemical science pack. But I also need it for DNA polymerase, which goes into good alien sample, which is something I need for various alien stuff. And I also need it to make... I feel like there was something else. Maybe not. Just mainly DNA polymerase, as well as the expensive chemical science pack recipe. 800 brains, though? That's a lot of brains. I don't... This is a very expensive recipe to just get one chemical science pack research, but maybe I'll end up using it. Okay, I'm going to turn this into a provider chest, because there's really no reason... Oops, not active. I meant passive. But that way we can provide the lard automatically. Uh, I, th I do think I'll keep this on balance, and that way this guy... Shoot, he can't connect to the logistics network. Well, that's fine. If lard in this chest is less than, like, 20... Sorry, we need a wire. I'm looking for a wire connection. Uh, circuit... Or logistics not connected. So if the lard is less than 20, then go ahead and put stuff in. Because that means there's 20 in here and 20 in here. And there can't be 20 in here if we're requesting all of it to make oleochemicals. So that's a good way to use all of my little augs. Oh, am I out of cages? What's going on here? Do we have an inserter placing in the wrong spot, or has that been like that since I set this up? Uh, out. Those are both inputs. This guy has two inputs, and this is the output. And this guy has two inputs. Okay, yeah. These two have been blocked since, like, the beginning of time. Um... So while we're here, let's check on all of them. How are my little baby augs doing? Okay, seems like his output is messed up. Oh, I'm just outputting empty barrels and caged augs on the same belt. In retrospect, that feels like that was kind of a bad idea. But if we're backed up on caged augs, then that's fine, and we'll never be backed up on barrels because it's a closed system. So I guess it's okay. So we're doing fine. Okay, back to this nonsense. So we've got a couple more bees. I'll keep producing more bees with the bees. And then we'll start adding some into here. It'll be a good time. What's the rate here? 0.3 per minute? Not super fast. We've got plenty of spores, though. Alright, so we've kind of got our cats figured out to some level. The only difference is once we have a bunch, we'll put this... I think I'll uh, keep this guy out in space. Out in open space, I mean. 
And then I will put, I guess we can get this set up a little bit. The episode's starting to run long, so I think I'll just plop down a couple more things and then we'll call it a day. But I think I'm going to put this here, which power poles are always in the way. One of my favorite things about space exploration was once you unlock the pylon substation that has a power range of like 50 tiles. You can kind of just forget about power poles, and it's beautiful. Uh, so I'll put arcades in here, and if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, we want 10 honey per second. We'll just need to set up um, like four of those apiaries and just feed Ulrichs into it, and that's it. That's literally all we need. Everything else is a closed loop. And then a filter just to extract the honey out of the honeycombs. So pretty simple once it gets rolling. And then the Oryx are nice. Um, here I was experimenting with adding manure into the plants to make it more efficient. Um, like we could add a little bit of manure into the Relesias and it goes a lot faster. And it doesn't actually require that much manure, but I don't I don't know if I'll I've already set up the Ulrich kind of production, the Ulrich food production, so I don't think I'm going to switch that one around just yet. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. We've got everything set up um, to at least be set up, if that makes any amount of sense. Uh, APRAs? No, I want Ulrichs. And we want to request... I only need, was it 0.7 per second, or was it 0.07? It's 0.07. So I can request like five or six. And then in here, we'll just keep it balancing. And then we'll just put those on a belt. And it would honestly be better if I just use bots, because otherwise we're going to fill a belt with like 100 or 200 Ulrichs, and then they're just wasted forever. So I might do RoboPorts again inside of the factory building. So this will just be a provider, and we'll just request Ulrichs at the apiaries. So I think that'll prevent us from wasting a ton. Uh, we do need some little bots, though. Do you have any? No. Okay. Sometimes you... Yeah, here we go. We'll just throw a few bots in there. I'm guessing with the rates that we've got going on, 0.07 and how many... 0.2 honeycombs per second. So probably, like, 4 is going to be more than enough. All right, well, I think we'll call it an episode there, and in the next episode we'll have this all set up inside making honey. And then we can move on to our next task, which is either going to be actually pursuing the good alien sample, or we might just finish out the other animals that we've unlocked, like Cotton Guts and Muck Moo. And uh, maybe there's another plant or two I think I've unlocked that I haven't made yet. So we might just work on making a zoo of sorts, as a couple viewers have mentioned would be a good option, is just to get the animals reproducing. And then later, when we need to actually make large groups of them, we'll have a bunch ready to go. So I might do that in the next few episodes. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I do have a small announcement. I meant to make this at the beginning of the video too, but here we are. Um, I have been streaming some on Twitch as well, so if you want to catch me playing games live, uh, you can follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 8 and that is where I've currently been streaming Satisfactory. I do plan on doing Factorio live streams as well in the future, uh, so let me know what kind of content you guys might like to see, whether you would just prefer me, because I could just live stream myself playing you know, my Factorio mod packs, and then I can upload the videos to YouTube later. Some viewers prefer the recorded YouTube videos. Some viewers prefer interacting via live stream. So let me know what you think in the comments. And 
Make sure to follow me on Twitch if you're interested in interacting with me while I play games. Um, but don't feel any pressure. Uh, I'll keep making YouTube videos either way, and I'll be exporting my Twitch videos to YouTube as well. So if you just prefer to stick on YouTube, then, then do what works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.